system consists of a master unit, which is kept in director, or principal's cabin, and a slave unit which is installed at various locations in the building like classroom, labs, libraries, staff cabins, etc. Let me explain each one of them, one by one. Starting with master unit, it has user interactive LCD display, a microphone, a speaker with volume control knob, and PS to keyboard. On the back side we have various connectors, for connections to slave unit, the on-off switch, and a fuse for device protection. This is slave unit. It has also got a microphone and speaker with volume control knob. On the top, there are various in and out connectors to connect multiple slave units on a sack of two cables. Along with this, here there is a separate terminal for connecting CCTV camera, terminal for 12 volt supply, and video signal. I've connected two similar slave units on my test bench along with CCTV cameras. Now we will start communication with these two slave units to demonstrate the various available features. We have six different methods to communicate with different rooms in our system. First is one-to-one, two-way communication. Second is all call. Third is selected room call. Fourth is group call. User can make five different groups of ten room each. Fifth is auxiliary audio in. User can play music, pre-recorded messages, etc. Sixth is video monitoring with auto scroll and pause feature. Let me explain each one of them, one by one. Starting with one to one call. Using PS2 keyboard, I am entering room number one. Always remember to enter room number in two digits that is 01, or 02, or 09, and likewise, then press enter. You can see, microphone, that room is connected with my speaker, and camera, that room is on my LCD display. I can't see, and listen to what all is going up there. My screen is showing, PTT equals to spacebar. I'll press spacebar whenever I need to speak to the selected room, and wait till screen shows, speak now message. Hello, am I audible? <coughs> See, Mukesh has responded to my query. I'll hold the spacebar key, till I wish to speak, and leave to listen. To exit I am using, escape key on the keyboard. This is how, we can perform one to one, to wait communication. Moving forward to the second option, we have all call facility. During all call, my voice will be audible in all slave units, or in turn, I should say in all rooms simultaneously. I can use this mode to announce anything which is of common interest to all the rooms. I will press Alt key to activate all call. You can see, screen is showing PTT equals to spacebar. I will press spacebar and speak. It is to be informed that school will be off tomorrow on the occasion of Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone. I'll again use escape key to exit. This is how we can perform all call. Moving ahead, we have the facility to announce, only in selected rooms. I will enter, room numbers directly on the screen using keyboard. Suppose, I am senior manager, of a company, and I have some information for my production staff, but I don't want to reach two other departments. My production unit is at, room number 1, 2, 5, and 7. Here it is room number 01, 02, 05, 07. Now I will directly press space bar to announce. 
whole production department is hereby informed that from today you have to submit your daily reports to your manager. Again, I am using escape key to exit. This is how we can announce that selected rooms. Moving on to next feature, we have group call facility. In this system, I can make five different groups of ten rooms each. My voice will only be audible in selected group of rooms. I can select group number from function key F1 through F5 available on the keyboard. Suppose I am principal of a school, so I can't divide my school rooms in five different groups. Like, F1 for primary sections, F2 for middle sections, F3 for secondary sections, F4 for senior secondary sections, and F5 for staff rooms. Now if I have an announcement for all teaching staff, I'll press F5 key, then space bar to announce. It is to be informed that weekly assessment meeting is at 1100 hours at conference hall. All the teachers are requested to assemble with their weekly academic reports. Thank you. Again, I am using escape key to exit. This is how we can perform group call. Moving ahead, the next feature we have auxiliary audio in facility. Using this feature, I can play music, pre-recorded messages, etc. through my desktop computer, laptop, mobile, tablet, etc. in all rooms simultaneously. Here I am connecting my tablet with master unit. And I'll press control key on the keyboard to switch master unit in external audio in mode. Play button on the tablet, and my music is there on all the slave units, or intern I should say in all rooms. I am again using escape key on the keyboard to exit. This is how we can play audio from some external device. And last but not the least, video monitoring facility. I can't monitor the activities of any room where slave unit is installed with CCTV camera. Suppose I wish to see video of room number one and two. I will directly enter room numbers like this and will press function key F9. You can see, video is scrolling between room number 1 and 2. I have one more unique feature. I can pause this scrolling at any desired room number and start conversation. I will use shift key on the keyboard to pause. <laughs> room and again start scrolling to exit I'll again
again press escape key. If I wish to scroll all the connected room, I will directly press F9 key on home screen and video scrolling will start. Camera switching time can be adjusted from programming menu. This